What's up Big Stuff family? My name is Blake. All year long, so many of you guys hit us up and ask, what do our speakers do when they're not at Big Stuff? And well today, I'm excited to continue that conversation with you as we get a chance to hang out with another speaker that'll be at camp this summer. Now what you need to know is this guy cannot stand pickles. He's a huge Marvel comic books fan and his brother is actually an artist for them. And lastly, he loves hip hop music. Without further ado, the speaker we're hanging out with today goes by the name of Reed Moore. Reed leads a high school ministry just north of Atlanta in Gwinnett County. And today we get a chance to learn more about what he does on a daily basis while also getting a chance to see the area he was born and raised. Should be a lot of fun, let's go. What's up Big Stuff family? We just finished an incredible breakfast here at Maple Street Biscuit and now we get a chance to hang out with Reed and learn a little bit more about his journey and working with students. So take us back, how did you get to here where you are today? Uh, great question. I never would have thought I'd be here okay. today. Right. Um, 20 years old, got saved and uh, immediately, like immediately got signed up to lead a Sunday Now I gotta know the, the time gap. The we're talking you get saved to lead two weeks. Harvard. We're talking two okay, weeks. Two weeks. He throws me in to lead a Sunday school with him, seventh graders, and I loved it. Yeah. A year later, working at a summer camp, okay. um, got asked by that pastor uh, to be their interim uh, student pastor. Okay. Which is, hey, you know, that's right. awesome, you know? Yeah. So I naively said yes. Right. Never preached a sermon, never, like, what never am I doing? led a ministry. I yeah. mean, yeah, like totally, but I jumped in. Yeah, now speaking of summer camps, when was the first time you had heard of Big Stuff? So someone in the church came and said, hey, have you heard of this camp, Big Stuff? Right. Um, I guess their kid had gone yeah. uh, with another church and they were like, you gotta take our students there. Yeah. So I looked it up online, it looked amazing, and so we piled students into the 15 passenger buses and said, <laughs> and let's yeah, go, exactly. And, uh, and man, we loved it. And yeah. every year for, gosh, eight years. Wow. I, I've, I've been bringing students So there. you were at Big Stuff for eight years, way before you were asked to speak at Big Stuff. Way before I even thought I could speak. Here, the people, <laughs> like, right. well, way before. And now here yeah. you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I know just hanging out with you, you've been doing student ministry for about 10 years now. Yep. What do you feel like has helped you become so successful uh, with working with students in general? I mean, if I could like, maybe one unique thing, I'm a student of students. Right. I love to hang out with students. I love to hang out with y'all. Like, yeah. I love hanging out with students, getting into their world, seeing what's going on. Yep. I mean, keeps me young, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. That's Absolutely. awesome. Now, kind of looking at the other side of that, what's been one of the more difficult things that you've kind of had to learn along your journey uh, as you've worked with students? I think personally for me, uh, one of the biggest challenges has been looking around and kind of comparing myself with other people yeah. and feeling like, gosh, like I didn't take the traditional route. Right. Um, I don't have a Bible school degree mm -hmm. or I didn't, um, you know, major in youth ministry and I didn't really know what I was doing. And so it's kind of always been like learning as I go yeah. and wondering, am I doing this right? right. You know what I mean? Like, totally. so kind of that, do I have what it takes, yeah. I guess, has been my biggest the challenge. Un unqualified feeling that I'm sure we totally. all feel, but yeah. as I watch you speak and as I watch you hang out with students, I would have probably never guessed that, and yeah. neither would students probably yeah. have guessed that, yeah. that you feel that as well. And so I'm excited today that we get a chance to actually see a little bit more of yeah. the area you grew up, and then we get to end the day uh, at Gwinnett Church, where oh, yeah. Reed spends most of his time and just the incredible work that you're doing uh, with the high school students there. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Heck yeah. Let's go. Yep. What's up, Big Stuff family? We just finished an incredible breakfast at Maple Street Biscuit, and now we're riding around Gwinnett County to learn more about a few important spots uh, in Reed's journey. So actually, there's one coming up yeah. right now. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit more about this spot? We are currently on the stretch of highway where uh, where I gave my life to Christ. Wow. Tell working. us a little bit more about that backstory. Yeah, I was, I was working landscaping, and uh, actually, right over here, Okay. we were mowing grass. And uh, right there. yeah, right here we were mowing grass, <laughs> and uh, and we we ran over to this gas station to fill back up. Was it still a Chevron? Yeah. Oh yeah. My and uh, amazing. Right back there where we just passed yeah. um, is where uh, is where Gus told me about Jesus, man, for the first time. Yeah. And so yeah. then after that, that's when next thing you know, you're leading a small group, and then. Two weeks later, I'm student pastor. Yeah. Two weeks later, I'm leading. Stuff. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So this messages. is. This right here, North Gwinnett High this School. is North Gwinnett High School, the pride of the community. A ton of our students come from here. There's a couple of them right there. Really? Yep. So Taylor. you recognize them? Yeah, that was Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, so right now we're gonna go pick up one of my dudes, one of my students. His name's Marcus. Yeah, usually on Thursdays we do Bible study. Okay. Um, at Gwinnett at the, Church. At the at Gwinnett Church. You look, you, you look fresh. Look <laughs> Marcus, what's one thing students big stuff should know about reading? I would say is a person that can change your life forever. Really. Uh -huh. And like, uh -huh. like honestly, no, roast you. nah, nah, no roast, no roast. All love for my man Reed. Like, he honestly for me, he taught me a lot of things. And like, a father figure almost, you know? Yeah. Here we are, we just got to Gwinnett Church. This is where Reed, uh, this is where you call home. This is it. This is the new student building. Yep. So this is the new student space. This is it. Wow. This is it, man. I know, it's, it's incredible. Incredible. massive. It's wild, it's wild. I mean, so when did you guys officially open the doors to this? So we moved into this space, I think it was, yeah, the second week of December. Okay. Yep, so it's been a couple months. A couple months open now. Got it. And so I've got to know, as you kind of reflect on your journey and the journey of Gwinnett Inside Out, uh -huh. I mean, what do you feel when you come into this space and look out and see, like, truly God's faithfulness? I mean, I guess, like, in a word, it's gratitude. Yeah. It's gratitude. Absolutely. I never would have thought I would be doing this, mm -hmm. um, especially not at a place like right. this. You know, yeah. like, so uh, I think every time I walk in here, I just, I feel grateful. Man. Yeah. It's I like, this is, this is real. This, this, this is, is my wild. job. It's wild. <laughs> Wow. So, so with that, I kind of, as I kind of heard your story earlier today, and how you kind of feel these feelings of unqualified, right, uh, to do what you're doing. What would you say to the student that might be watching this, thinking they're not qualified for the job that yeah. they want uh, or the dream that they're chasing? Yeah, I think I would say, man, you never know what God could do with a yes from you. Mm. You never know. Like, you never know yeah. what God will do. Um, and that's my story. Like, honestly, like yeah. every step of the way, I haven't always felt ready. Yep. Um, but I've said yes when God mm. said go. And man, God has always exceeded my expectations. Wow. And so, and that's here what you I would are say. speaking yeah. at Big Stuff 2018. Never thought. <laughs> Who would have thought? Like, it, I still am like, what? This yeah. is amazing, bro. So, thank you for letting us hang out with you today. This is awesome. Loved it. Wow, what an awesome day. We started with an incredible breakfast and then we ended the day at Gwinnett Church where Reed Moore spends most of his time. It's hard to believe that we've already had the chance to hang out with three of the speakers that are gonna be at camp this summer. So as we continue to count down our days until Big Stuff 2018, head to our YouTube channel to catch up on any videos you might have missed. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in Panama City Beach this summer.